receive consciously care for souls Moses receives that then he goes to his country and we see he goes to his people in Egypt and when he is there he goes straight to Pharaoh he says Pharaoh you gotta let my people go Pharaoh says what Pharaoh says I am God in Egypt if you study history of Egypt you find out that every Pharaoh was considered God Ra it means they were the God of Sun they were considered God people worshiped them as God they acted as God and they lived as gods and here's Moses as ex-slave walks in and says you have to let all of your slaves go destroy your financial history your, your economy completely wreck yourself because God told me so and then Moses does few simple tricks that God taught him you know supernaturally to do and, and, Mo, and Pharaoh brings his guys they do a few tricks and cast Moses out and instead of that Pharaoh increases the the workload for the Israel so now not only Pharaoh doesn't like Moses Israel come to Moses say you put a sword in Pharaoh's hand get out of our face we were slaves but at least we we had some straw for our bricks you came with your God ideas and now we don't have straw and we're still slaves get out and here is Moses in chapter 6 at the end he says God I like the idea of helping your people you like the idea I like the idea it started really good but it went really south and that's where Moses throws self-pity and says God I told you from the beginning I'm not a good speaker I am not the right person don't use me Pharaoh calls Moses now you don't see Moses pleading because Moses knew now Pharaoh you're not letting our people go only for one reason because not all of your gods has been crushed to the ground when you walk in the revelation of who you are in God before you see your situation change when we walk in the revelation in our city not just caring for souls but praying for souls and in our prayer that we don't take the position of these little people trying to convince everyone to be a part of our religious group but that we realize there is a spiritual world that holds our city and our regions captive the God of frogs the God of pornography the God of gambling the God of smoking the God of divorce these different gods and when we are praying for revival remember our goal is not just to get people saved our goal is also to demolish and crush the gods Satan has established in our region and in our generation can somebody say amen And that comes with a revelation that you and I in the spiritual world are superior to everything the enemy has built. If we wait until our situation changes to know that you are in a place of authority, that will not happen. First things change in chapter 7 in Moses' mind. God says, I make you a God to Pharaoh and plagues begin. Plagues was a punishment by a superior power to a lower power the power of Egypt we are going to see in our city the gods that Satan has established that keep people hostage these gods will one by one be brought down by the power of God not from heaven but from the Holy Spirit that lives inside of us you and I are in a place of authority in a spiritual world we might be ex-slaves we might be ex-drug addicts we might be ex-alcoholics we may be ex-adulterers we might be ex this and ex that but I want to tell you when God says that he is the king of kings that's us we are no longer ex we are now in authority we are now in a place of victory. We are now in the place of God's rulership. We pray out of that place and out of that place we see the enemy backing down. Out of that place we see Satan pleading, begging, fleeing, falling and letting go. And that's exactly what the plan of God is. And God said on purpose to Pharaoh, I will harden his heart why so that you don't leave Egypt without destroying every one of their gods 
I'm not just interested in helping your people. I'm interested to get the point across to the enemy. You are defeated. When we pray for revival, when we pray for our friends, when we pray for our city, we don't have to expect that things will always go like we expect. But at the end, we have to know one thing. We will win. The enemy will be defeated and people will be saved. In Jesus name. Maybe you prayed for someone, they responded to Jesus and you don't see them coming back to God. And you go back to the old pattern, oh God I knew I'm not good enough, I should have not been the one, I don't even should be doing witnessing because everybody I bring, they don't really get saved, they don't really get touched. That's an old Moses, a new Moses has to walk into a court of a Pharaoh saying, I am in a place of authority. Not because I'm all this great and I'm mighty, it's because I know the Lord and because I know the Lord, He makes me Lord over my circumstances and Pharaoh is not my God creator of heaven and earth is my God and with him I will ride over every situation in Jesus name can somebody say amen